For the Order of Malta, it was a very good opportunity to um, bring in quite a number of personalities who could debate on this subject um, with a great, I would say, um, a great respect for the faith of every person, especially of those who are suffering the most, that is, the weakest uh, and the poor. The Order of Malta has been on fields of conflict for, for years. Uh, I would say since the beginning, 900 years ago, already in Middle East. But then throughout uh, Europe, and then also in the last two conflicts of World War I and World War II. But it was always at the service of those who were suffering, either civilians or soldier, wounded soldiers. And this in a Christian faith, bringing warmth, bringing heart and care. Unfortunately, what we are living to now is that we are meeting on the field terrible people who are making a real use, a dramatic use of religion, which is a radical use of religion. And so they are giving an illusion of hope to all these people that we find now on the roads, the placed, migrants, um, people fleeing from their houses in terrible conditions. One knows what's happening, uh, uh, especially in, in Middle East, uh, the conflict, uh, Syria, Iraq, and all that area with displaced people. Well, the Order of Malta is already based either in South Turkey or in the Northern Lebanon or holding medical centers in Erbil, Iraq. This is to look after people. Any faith-based organization or Catholic institution like the Order of Malta must keep in mind that the values of Christian faith are the values of care to those who suffer.